Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to do the dragon flag. It's really an impressive exercise. And it was one of Bruce Lee's favorite exercise and he was the one that popularized it. And even Sylvester Stallone in Rocky IV did the dragon flag. And if you are new to calisthenics, um, you are in luck because it's going to be one of the first skills that you are going to master. And in fact, I mastered it before the LCD, which is weird. But um, when we look um, at the dragon flag, you not only need a strong core, but you're also going to need strong arms and a strong back. And if we compare the dragon flag with the lat pullover, you're gonna see that the mechanics are pretty similar. And that is why I could do the dragon flag is because I had strong arms and a strong back. I always been someone that had a weak core, I'm not gonna lie. And the dragon flag will not only help you with getting a stronger core, but it will also help you with the front lever. So now onto the progressions. I'm not gonna teach you with the tuck uh, dragon flag or with the advanced tuck dragon flag. I'm actually going to teach you with the exercises that help me achieving the dragon flag. But first I wanna talk about the grip. You can use the grip that I'm going to use here, um, but or you can use the easier grip that is grabbing the edge of a bench. That is what I used uh, when I started to train for the dragon flag. But try to find the more easier grip for you, okay? And then you can start with the first exercise that is the hip raises. Really squeeze at the top. I want to do this exercise um, for about 10 uh, reps with perfect form, always keep that in mind. And you can train simultaneously with this next exercise that is the hip raise hold. Here you really want to squeeze your glutes and make yourself tall and really point your toes. Once you've been training these two exercises for a while, um, you can start um, descending with your uh, legs it's going to be a little bit harder but always keep in mind to be as straight as possible okay just like a plank okay i'm going to show you how to do it the right way and the wrong way this is how you should do it descend slowly and stop when it starts to be difficult for you and this is how you shouldn't do is sink your bum okay never let that happen never really squeeze your uh, your glutes and hold that position i remember when when you start to do this exercise that you are going to use a lot of your arms um, to maintain that position but the more you do it you will um, hold it for a longer period of time and you will um, descend as well okay and then it's time that you um, do the one leg dragon flag hold okay switch legs make sure you train both sides this is really a great exercise. I still use it today and it's probably the only progression that you are going to need to master the dragon flag. I'm not saying that the tuck dragon flag and the advanced tuck dragon flag are bad. And you should use them, but it's more like an extra. And when you are tired of the one leg, you can use them. Uh, but for me, these are the four exercises that I used to um, do the dragon flag, okay? And once you build that strength, you can do the one leg dragon flag raises. Switch legs, like I said, both sides. This is really a great exercise, even the one leg dragon flag hold. Um, you will reduce the weight by tucking one knee in and it makes the exercise um, easier for you, okay? And once you can do about like four to five reps of the one leg uh, dragon flag raises, you can then try your dragon flag. And like I said, then you can try different grips as well. You can do with straight arms, or you can do even with one arm and everything. I'm not here to show myself what I can do and what I cannot, but um, you want to master your dragon flag hold first, but it's like a preview that you, uh, what you will achieve. And I know that you guys will do it. And I hope that this tutorial helps you out. If it did, make sure to like, 
subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new coming videos and i see you next time thank you and see you